Recycling is one of the most common of all environmental activities, and it's also a great way to save natural resources. We collect our cans, bottles, paper, cardboard, and plastic, and conveniently toss it all into one bin. Californians consume a staggering 64 million single-use beverage containers every day. But what happens to all that recycling after it's collected? Nearly 60% of recyclable materials generated in California were exported to China and other Asian markets. Recent changes in the global recycling market sets a much tougher standard for contamination levels, and evolving state mandates instruct Californians to divert more material from landfills each year. With a focus on recycling, Edco built a new state-of-the-art recycling facility using the newest and most advanced technology available. This 70,000 square foot facility can process 100,000 pounds of commingled recycling per hour using a series of screens, magnets, high-speed optic scanners, conveyors, and Edco personnel to separate mixed loads of recyclable material. Commingled recycling material is dumped on the tipping floor and is then loaded into large drum feeders at the beginning of the system. The drum feeders free contents from plastic bags and ensures an even flow of material on the conveyor belt. The material is now on its way to the first pre-sort line, where EDCO team members pull out large bulky items and any contamination. From this pre-sort line, the material is dropped onto the cardboard screens. Smaller, pliable material falls through the screens, while cardboard surfs on top. The cardboard is then sent to the final sorting line to remove any remaining contaminants and then is directed by conveyor to a bunker to be bailed. The smaller material that falls through travels up to the next level to another pre-sort line where EDCO team members remove plastic film and any small cardboard that fell through the cardboard screen. The remaining material then drops onto the anti-wrapping screen. The aggressive agitation system breaks glass and removes the glass and other two inch minus size materials from the stream. The broken glass and fines move through a glass cleanup system for further separation. The material now moves to the ONP screening station to separate newspaper. The sorted newspaper is directed to the final sorting line where remaining contamination is removed by hand. The cleaned newspaper is now directed to a bunker to be bailed. Sorting mixed paper comes next. The leftover material makes its way on conveyor belts to the first of seven high-tech optic eye sorters. The optic eye sorters identifies material and automatically sorts it from the line with puffs of air directing the material to a separate conveyor. The optic eye sorter can be reprogrammed at any time to remove other items. After EDCO sorts out all the paper and cardboard from the line, they begin to remove all the remaining hard goods from the recycling stream. Hard goods consist of tin, plastic, steel, and aluminum cans. The system uses magnetic belts to remove the steel and tin cans from the commingled stream of material and drops it into its own bunker. The material now makes its way to the elliptical. The elliptical efficiently separates 2D and 3D materials and fines. Ejected fiber gets redirected back to the fiber line for recovery. Hard goods travel up by conveyor belt to the container processing line. The material drops onto a shaker screen that redistributes the material evenly on the conveyor belt for a smooth flow. The optic eye sorter now scans for PET and directs it to the final sorting line. The remaining material drops onto an eddy current separator. The eddy current propels aluminum cans over a separation gate and onto a conveyor that goes to the final sorting line. The leftover material makes its way through two more optic eye sorters to separate HDPE and number five plastic. The final recovery station allows EDCO team members the chance to recover any missed recycling before the remaining material is processed and sent to the landfill. This state-of-the-art facility allows EDCO to process mixed recycling with minimal contamination. Escondido Resource Recovery is expected to divert up to 250,000 tons of materials from landfills each year, assisting jurisdictions throughout Southern California in achieving zero waste goals. At EDCO, we'll take care of it.